to it. <laughs> well, that was a bit of a... Any bit of excitement or a bit of a calamity? I'm not sure which one. We had a problem with our techie side. What have we learned today, Cam? Um, turn things off and on again. Or just check it's working before you press start streaming. The cameras was there before. Mm. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> We're going to wait for a couple of people to come and join us now because I think everybody's clicked off yeah. and now they're coming back. So oh, what fun. I'll give you a couple of seconds and then... Yay, says Mo! Yeah, we're Yay back. Yay for you too, Mo. Hopefully your eye drops have settled and you can see us now. Uh, Kim Rowlandson's with us. Hello, my darling. Regina's here. She says, okay, yay. Look at us. Picture here we are. In the pink. So to speak. Mm -hmm. um, Vicky's back with us. Oh, and Mo says, I was going to guess Dino Popsy. Yeah, I was feeling in a dinosaur kind of mood today. Dino Popsy and pencils. Mm -hmm. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> That's my flasher day for you. Then we mm -hmm. have Rebecca with us from Pennsylvania. It's a bit of a flashy day today, isn't it? Yes. All yeah, we have had a bit of flashing today. <laughs> Question for, for the crowd. <laughs> if your zip broke on your jeans and you oh. left 20 minutes away from work, yeah. would you A, wrap your waist in packing tape to hold your jeans together or B, just drive home and change into another pair? Or then C, when the packing tape fails, use a bulldog clip instead? He didn't even wrap his waist. He just stuck it on the front. <laughs> and he came in to announce it to us. And I was like, you could have just not done that. Nobody would have noticed the pack, didn't he? Yeah. Now you're drawing attention to the one area you don't want to draw attention mm -hmm. to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And everyone take a wild guess on who we're talking about. Yes. <laughs> I bet you can't guess who broke their zip on their jeans today. And thought, I know what, I'll just tape my jeans together. As we all were. <laughs> not. Right then, let's have another little look. Barbara's joined us from Germany. Welcome Hello, my in. darling. Neva's joined us. Um, oh, Neva says, was this previously scheduled? I haven't prepped. So um, we were unable to send out an email about the craft along this week. Um, apparently we didn't have any spare slots to be able to do that for you. Um, so we have put the cut list on Facebook, um, into the Facebook group. And it's also on the community tab in YouTube as well for you. Kim says I'm turning it into tonic after dark. Mm. Yeah, you are a bit. I'll try not to. I promise. Um, Rebecca says drive home and change. Yeah, that's the option I would have chosen too. Mo mm -hmm. says wrap a jacket around your waist. Uh, Karen says Blake, I take it. Actually, no, no. not Blake. Not Blake. The other one. Um, a, Regina says A then C. Mm. So she's on Simon's side. Yeah. Oh, give it away. <laughs> give it away. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, it was Crafty Simon. It was Crafty Simon. Um, Rebecca says, I actually have used a piece of rope myself. Mm -hmm. Now when your fly's gone, you don't. Though. No. I roped your buttons. Yeah. Okay. But now when your fly. fly. No. Your fly is a little bit more important somehow, isn't it? Mm. Yeah. I, I do take Regina's point though. If I drove home, I'm home. Just saying, absolutely. Once I'm in the door, yes. that's it. Yeah. I'm not leaving again. I've Has, left my house once. Oh, that's, that's it, it for me as well. Yeah. I've got to do everything on the way home. I remember doing, you know, my, one of my courses. <laughs> one of the many. It started at seven o'clock. Well, that was a horrible time. Because mm. it meant I had to go home first. Six o'clock, you can kind of eke out what you've got to do. Seven o'clock, you've got to go home. It was awful. It was <laughs> terrible that I had to go out. Because I really didn't want to do it then. Uh, who else have we got? Bella's joined us from Germany. Uh, Neva says she rides public transportation. I wore two different shoes a few weeks ago, but refused to go home and change them. Aww. Simon did the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I've done that. I Once had a again, class. telling everyone, and he probably could have got away with... Not yeah, saying anything. People probably wouldn't have noticed. Uh, Blake says everyone's guessing me. How could it be you, Blake? How could it be you? 
Mo says she split her trousers down the backside while pregnant, bending down in a shop. And the jacket saved my life. Oh, Mo. Oh, bless you, sweetheart. I've, I've done that in the middle of Cardiff once. Me and my friend were having lunch outside Cardiff Castle on the green. I stepped up on, like, the wall. And next you know, you hear... <laughs> and it literally just went from here all the way down my leg. Oh, no! <laughs> I've never had a split like that before. We had recently just gone to Primark, so she had one of those big Primark bags, and I was just holding it in front of me. I was like, we need to go back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I bless. Need new jeans. Awkward. <laughs> Sarah Young's has joined us. Sorry, Young, sorry. Uh, Brooke B has joined us. Hello. Are you new to us? Welcome. Lovely to have you here. I, I don't recognise the names. No. We try and remember names as much we as do. we possibly can. But you're very welcome. If you know any friends who you think would enjoy something like this, get them involved as well. This gives a bit of a croak, and if I got a laugh, I will be coughing. So please don't make me laugh no. today. It's not a nice sound. Um, and I can't control the cam uh, the mics either. They're up there. Um, right, I think we've got through all these now. Excellent. Let's have so, a look at the kit, shall we? Let's. This is, if you haven't seen this already, this is our Jam Pot gift card kit. So you have your little booklet with your inspiration and your list of everything that is in there, which obviously... I've just realised I haven't said who we are. Oh, I'm sure everyone knows by now. Do you know who we are? If you don't, let me have a let me have a little message, and so, I'll tell you. Oh, batteries are done. Um, so let me grab all of this out of the box because I am going to be using it today. I love Regina's comment. It's like my house eats me. Once I'm inside, I can't get out because of all the things I have to do. This is true. Oh, I think we all feel like that, Regina. That's it. And I agree with you. Once I'm home. That's it, I've got to do things on the way home. Yeah. Yeah. I don't care how long I've got to do things for. No. Nope. Just don't make me go on first. Exactly. So this month was um, folder month as well, so you've got your binder to put your little wallet in. And then you have your lovely dies and stamps in here. So we've got all of your dies. There are instructions in this one as well for you. You've got your stamps. And your lovely little sticker for labelling your wallet or wherever else you want to put that. Love them. Very cute. Neva says she just bought the desk tidy. Oh, very You're nice. You're going to be busy. I'm really sorry to our German customers. I don't speak German and I can't translate on you. But thank you all for your comments. I know Love Melanie you. and all the other German um, customers will be reading them. So, in our cardstock this month, we have Spring Silver. Mm -hmm. yes. yes. We have Hollow Waves. Yes. A lovely Pew Pew paper or um, Iridescent Mirror Card to give it its full name. Um, we have some White Pearlescent Card. And I think this is Ivory Smooth. Yes. Yes. So that's our 300 GSM. And we've got two of those, I believe. Oh, two of those. Two oh. of those. I've only got one in my kit. Mm. Mm. Someone's had that. And then we have some of our classic cards. This is. Oh, maybe our... I'm wrong. No. Oh, I don't know. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No, that's right. One. Just one. Okay. <laughs> and then the in our. The list I had upstairs was different. Uh, you thinking about the one you're doing, not this one? Yes! Yes, I am. Mammy Ali is also working on kit stuff, but not this kit. So, in our classic card, which is our textured 216 GSM, we have ballet pink, rose pink, sea salt green, and avocado green. Beautiful colour palette this time. And I'm going to keep these to hand because I have some cutting still to do. Oh, we do. So I shall pop those Thank over. you, Mario. I could do with some lessons. <laughs> Very happy to be taught anything. Exactly. I and should then, really know a bit of German. I can I can read it, I can't necessarily speak it no, kind of, but I couldn't always translate it. Yeah. I, I I remember some, but not all of it. In your grey bag this month then you have oh this was an either or. Um so the UK get the notebook and then the US get a, a four storage, storage. page. I believe it was an A4 one. 
because it had to be folded yes, to go in the A4 box. Yes, A4 yeah. yeah. So yeah, if you're a UK kit subscriber or purchaser, you will be getting a Titanic notebook. If you are purchasing or subscribing from the US, it is one of our A4 zippered storage pouches that will be in there instead. And then you have a chalk mousse in strawberry frappe. We have a crystal drop in red berry. We've got a blending brush and a bottle of crystal glaze. Nice. So that is the kit this month. Very handy ones this month, aren't mm, they? I think so. I love a notebook anyway. Yeah, me too. But I would also love one of the pouches because I think they are very usable. I love them for storing projects. Yes. Once you've cut everything. Yes, we use them a lot to bring stuff down here, mate, don't yes, we? Yes, we do. So this is what we're going to be making today. This is our little gift card holder. <coughs> so it's a fully contained one. It's not stuck to a card this time. Of course, you can stick it to a card if you want to, but I've made it as its own standalone little project. So inside then, I've even got a card in here, <laughs> a dummy one. This is from um, Petrol Station, I think. Um, so yeah, just a dummy gift card so you can see how that fits in there. And uh, yeah, all the little crystal glazed strawberries all over here. Hopefully you can see how shiny they all are. So we're going to start actually by cutting and glazing our strawberries and getting those done to see if we can get them to be dry by the time we need to stick them on. Oh dear. It may or may not happen, we shall see. So, if you are crafting along, we're going to be needing our classic card today. So our three different colours. Nope, there are four, not three. Should have got myself some scissors, never mind. Shall I jump over and get some? I'm always saying red berry is awesome. Oh, I love red berry drops. It's, your it's a very red, red yeah, it? exactly. Um, a quick tip for these drops. So these are very, you'll notice they're very, thank you, um, kind of nicely domed in here and rounded. They didn't start out like that. So the first lot of drops that I put into the center of my flowers kind of all sunk into the bottom of the flower and flattened out. So I let those dry completely. And then I did a nice big drop on top. And because it's already sunk into the card, it stays nice and domed. So if you are dropping the centers of flowers, that's a quick yeah. tip for you there. Just leave, leave yourself a little extra time, isn't yes, it? Yes, exactly. You're going to need them to dry twice, obviously. Blue Moon says that's a substantial looking card. It is. And you will notice it is quite chunky because obviously you need to have the space for your gift card to sit inside. So if I get that all the way out, you can kind of see that little gap in the center of there. And I've also done extra layers of this part to make this nice and sturdy as well. Nom Nom's done this. Hi Nom Nom. And she says Christmas colors already. No, spring colors, right? Strawberry spring. colors. Yes. So I need a little bit of sea salt green. So I'm just going to cut myself a little strip up one side like that. Same with my avocado. I don't need to put the whole sheet through. And I did see a comment. Um, Crafty Melanie says she'll be going live soon as well. Amazing. Fantastic. So I'm going to cut some strawberries. Now you can decide how many strawberries you want to put on the front of here. I think I did 16-ish. Hmm, you don't have to do that many if you would like to have less strawberries on the front of your jam pot do less yes it's entirely up to you so i'm going to grab from but my these are fabulous just to cut out of your scraps aren't exactly they? exactly these are the last thing you cut not your first generally yeah yeah i know i wouldn't normally be cutting strips like no. this or full sheets of cardstock you've used all your little bits yeah. for them so i have my two little strawberry tops like that and then I have my two little berries as well. And you will notice that these um, are in two different directions. So you do need to cut an even number of each or make sure you've got the right tops for the right bases, basically. Uh, so. Carolyn says she's just made a card like this and it's in the mail for her friend. Oh, lovely. So with classic card, you technically can cut two pieces at a time. It's not something that we would suggest you do often, but for little pieces like this, it should be just fine. Mo is feeling very poetic today. Oh. Pop a drop on top, just a spot. Don't let your card flop. Exactly. That's exactly what you said, isn't it? Okay, 
hope Rachel Snooker's joined us. Hi, Rachel. You're not late at all, my darling. No, not at all. We've You're very just welcome. Started. And Crafty Melanie says she has everything ready for the craft kit. And she's going to recreate this later. Fabulous. Okay. Who's crafting along with us today? Let us know. So there's my first two sets of little strawberry tops. These are so cute. Get them separated. It's the only thing, if you are cutting two layers of card at once, you are going to have to separate them. Tell me to do it. Thank you. You may need a friend. Yes. And I'm probably... Who's not doing any better? Oh, no. Give right. them I'm a bend. I'm going to have to get down. No, I don't know. I don't know. Give them a bend in the middle. So we need to bring the tools back so they're actually within reach. Oh, yeah, because we had three of us in here, didn't we? We did. So if you have a, a table tidy, make sure you can reach it from your desk. <laughs> bend it helps. them in the middle. Yeah, it usually helps to separate. Oh, there we go. She did says. it. There Thank you. Know. Okay, next. Put them back on. I think I'll probably just do maybe like six this time. Mo was telling Rachel that we had a few gremlins. We did, we did. And uh, Rachel saying, glad the gremlins are back in the box. They are. It's after, well, we're all right because it's after midday. It's after midnight they get a bit naughty, don't they? <laughs> um, Blue Moon is saying now, nice one, Mo, with a little poem. My granddaughter says, Dot, dot, not a lot when she glues. Oh, that's cute. I like that. Very handy to remember as well, because exactly. you don't want too much glue. Definitely not. I think when you start crafting, you waste a lot of glue. And none of us want to waste the products because they're expensive. Mm -hmm. You know, even if you think, okay, it's only £5, $5, you add all those up and they, they could be something new for you. That's the way I think about it, anyway. Yeah, definitely. Did someone feed Cam after 12? No, yeah, he's shaking his head. No. Definitely not. Have you had any tea, Cam? I haven't. Mm. No. no. Milk. Oh, no. I had a cup of coffee this I morning. I had a cup of tea this morning. But I haven't it's all had vanished since, since then. Oh, Cam. Oh, but thankfully, I came in early, so I, I managed to get the, some milk before I went. It looked like there was loads. That's the thing here. That there's so many people using the milk that you come in. There's a full bottle, six yeah. pint, gone in a couple of hours. Yeah, it, it is very quickly. much so. Um, Julie Healy's joined us. Hello, my darling. Hi, Julie. Um, Julie says she's not. She's crafting along with us, but not the kit. She's making twirling teacups. Oh, nice! Can't wait to see that, Julie. I'm also going to grab out my flower since I've just realised I haven't cut that either. And um, Sharon has joined us from a cool, breezy Virginia beach. Well, come on in. Sounds idyllic, it does. Okay, so I've got my two straws and my flower. I'm going to keep cutting multiple things together. I don't really recommend you do this, but you know, time. So... And I have my two sheets of card as well. Mammy Ali is going to tell me off in a minute. <laughs> well, she can't look. because I caught her doing something the other day. <gasps> Cameron! That was a secret. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Neva's asking, was the jukebox really $1.99 on the US site? What? It was sold oh. out by the time I noticed the price. Oh. And Jane Farmer's joined us and she says, Afternoon ladies, I know this isn't this isn't craft along related, but is the delay with sending the champagne on ice set out? Not that I'm um, aware of. Not specifically just that dice set, there's a delay in shipping for the UK. Um, as uh, due to March Madness influx of orders as well as a couple of days being off as well as so it's, it's a continuous amount of oh, things gosh. as well as being down by two staff members yes so um yes it's affected the shipping uh rate 
Shouldn't um, be too much longer now, though. Beef and orange are back tomorrow. Yeah. So that should help throw a load of the orders out. Brilliant. But if you're not sure where you're, or how long it'll take for your order, you can message Deb. She can have a look at where we are at when it comes to the orders. Okay. Joanna's joined us. She says, I'm late. My reminder only just nudged me. Aww. Oh, bless you. Don't worry. It's fine. We've not really done a lot. We're literally just cutting some decorative pieces at the moment. Uh, Kim is saying it's a beautiful sunny day in Northern Ireland. Oh. Well, it's a little bit sunny here, but it's quite chilly, isn't it? It is still. I still have. So you know the, the warning light that comes on in your car when it drops below a certain temperature? Mine is if it goes below five degrees. Yeah, that was on this morning on the way in. I'm like, oh, it's too late in the year for this to be happening. I know. I know. Oh, Cass Crafty says she's crocheting Dumbo. Oh. Oh, that sounds lovely. I do love a bit of crocheting. Um, oh, right. Neva saying it's sold out, but states it's $1.55. Yeah, I've just seen that, and that shouldn't have been the case. I'm, I'm Corey! If you had it at that point, really well done to you. Yeah. Um, Kim says she'll jump on a plane and come and help us. Bless you so much. <laughs> you know exactly where we are. Joanna's saying it's sunny in the Midlands. You're right. Show offs. And we've had, did we have hail this morning? We had some we rain. We had hail today. yesterday. Yeah, we did. Before I got home. Very rude. I know, I can't believe it. And it was quite big chunks of hail, wasn't it? Okay, last two little strawberries. Can I get them out of this tiny bit of card that I've got? Oh, I'm very ready for the sunshine now. Oh, though. me too. I'm very much over being cold all the time. We were talking about it this morning and we said it feels like it's been raining for six months. It's like yes. the rainy season here, isn't it? Just. Mo says it's going to be 30 degrees on Thursday. On, on Thursday. Uh, 30 degrees with her on Thursday. Wow. That is, that is unbelievable. Yeah, that's too warm. Thank you. She says she'll trade gladly. Mm, yeah, I bet. Nom Nom says, need sunny holiday stat. Yes, please, Nom Very Nom. Very much so. Very much so. Okay, last bit. Did I cut a sentiment? No. I didn't have much time to do my uh, cut list. No, you were very time. rushed this time, you too, darling. So uh, I do apologise that we are now having to cut extra pieces. I'm just going to do a sentence. You can pick whichever sentiment you want. You have uh, spread the love. Uh, do you want me to cut so you can start? That's okay. Something sweet, something, and thanks very much. I can't remember what this one sweet says. Sweet treat? No. Oh, is it a just for you? Oh, it might be just for you, actually. Yeah. Yeah, I think it might what be a just got for you. you? Yeah, just, no, to just to say. There we go. Just yeah. to say. You've got spread the love, just to say, or thanks very much, whichever you would prefer. Oh, Miss L says, um, hope for sun today, not even dawn yet. Oh, my lordy, lordy. Bit early for you guys. Oh, what a way to wake up, though, with tonic. Yes, please. I mean, that's us every day, isn't it? Adorable, isn't it? We're very lucky. We do enjoy waking up with our neck. Okay. It's not very sunny in the Netherlands, says Teresa. Oh no. No. We we hope I did hope that it would be here this week, but maybe tomorrow. Hmm. Maybe. I mean you know when you go away on holiday mm. and you just hope that you are where you live, the weather is terrible. Yes. Lillian has just said before you. And that's kind of what I want, but I feel bad for wanting that. Yeah, I know what you mean. She's just said she can see an imprint of Homer Simpson on the cutting pad. Oh, where? I'm trying to see. Is it, it. this bit, you? Maybe the snowman. That was from a. Um, this really the magazine. Yes. Oh, was that one? I was thinking of um, a really old stamp club. No, the magazine snowman. snowman. 
Oh, I can't remember. Oh, gosh, we had so many. Oh, Miss Elle said, I love waking up to our girls. Aww. Oh, that's lovely. Thank, Thank you. Linda. Um, where are we? Oh, Mo says that she hibernates in her air conditioning. Yeah, I don't blame you. I think of the hot flashes. We would all be doing the same. So I've got an hour. Ours goes from circle. heaters on, doesn't it? Yeah. To air con on. Yeah. We've not quite reached that point of the year yet. We've it not won't be switched. Long. Okay, so that's all my strawberries done. I just need to do my sentiment piece and I'm good to go. I'm just, I think I've missed something. Oh, Janelle says she's got bell peppers in the garden already. Nice. I love it when it gets warm. That's what she's saying. I go, raspberry canes are looking pretty good. I just need them to fruit the year. But I was saying to Al earlier, oh, yes, of course. I can't, I can't even cheat with this one. You can't. Um, I have a couple of cherry trees in the garden. And it's my fault that it's been stormy this weekend because they just started flowering and it seems to happen every year. Just as the cherry blossoms open, we get like a wind storm that blows all of the cherry blossoms off oh, my trees. So I don't end up with any fruit. So yeah. Sharon is saying she's been watching us from day one. Oh wow. Oh my lord, that's a good few years then. Just one or two. Wow. So with this one, once you've cut your outer edge, just center your sentiment and then tape that down and run it back through. And leave us saying, we should be past the last frost so I can sow my wildflower seeds. Nice. It's been rainy, but it only snowed once last winter. We need the moisture. Oh, we, we don't have much snow, but we do have lots of rain. Oh, we've we've plenty got of rain. Moisture. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We don't need any extra moisture. No, we don't. We really don't. Certainly not in Wales. Okay, there we go. So there's my sentiment piece for the centre of my pot as well. Okay, cutting done. Excellent. Let's get to glazing. So yeah, like I said, we're going to glaze first in the hopes that the glaze will be dry by the time we come to assemble. I might be out of luck, but we'll give it a try. So I have an easy clean mat here, and I'm just gonna put this onto one of my cutting plates. Whenever I'm doing something like this, I find it easier to use a plate because I can just move the whole thing to one side out of the way without worrying about, you know. It's always good to have a portable. Exactly, you can put it on a shelf or somewhere out of the way. We're not gonna yes. drop anything in it. You're not going to accidentally poke it or anything like that. Kaz is saying, next door has a cherry blossom tree and the leaves are blown in my garden and paths. Aww. My neighbour's got a, I think it's called a red robin. Okay. And that makes a heck of a mess. And that comes all over my, my garden. But never mind, they all go in the compost bin, so it's fine. Exactly. So what I'm going to do is lay out all of my strawberries on here. But even if they don't dry in time, you can always add these on later, can't you? Yes, indeed. You'll all have the idea, so you'll know what's going on. Oh, right, we've got a question. Okay. The embossing soft rubber mat, can I buy on its own? I don't think you can buy just the mat. I, I don't think, think you can. It comes yeah. In. Can we? Yeah. Put it on there. Oh, oh, there we are. Cam's doing it as we speak. So we'll pop a little link at the bottom. Fantastic. I thought it came as a bundle with I the green well. plate. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, oh, so to know. crystal glaze is a clear, well, a glaze, basically. It's going to give you a kind of glass-like finish on top of whatever you spread it on. So I tend to use a smallish paintbrush. So I've got a fairly little brush here, and I've got the bottle. And what I'm going to do is just put a healthy dot of glaze onto each strawberry. It's quite liquidy, 
you don't have to squeeze too much with this and it does look a little bit cloudy when you first squeeze it on but don't worry it will dry clear oh we got a couple of people saying the blossom has fallen off their tree and been blown away it's sad i hate it when it happens I know. then with the paintbrush all i'm going to do is hold one edge and you're literally just kind of floating the crystal glaze to the edges of the strawberry so you're not really brushing it you're not touching the surface of the card you're just going over the top of the glaze and just moving it slightly you might find this easier with a craft pick or something like that i don't know who's just joined us hello my lovely hello welcome on in um right moa said does the liquid glaze level off yes or stay three-dimensional like nouveau drops so it won't stay i mean it probably would actually stay as a dome like that if you just left it if mm -hmm. you wanted to um and you can definitely build up height with it but i don't really want it to be domey i just want it to give these a nice juicy look so I am covering them completely. I could put more on now and kind of dome it more in the middle if I wanted yeah. to. So it is self-leveling? No, not really, because they're staying as dots, aren't they? So it's not self-leveling. It will flatten a little bit. The other thing is if you wanted to fill, um, there, was, there was a big trend a couple of years ago, wasn't there? Where you had bottle tops. Yes. And you were putting a little picture in there and glazing them. If you want to do something like that with it, then I would put thinner layers and build them up. Yes, because I think you would struggle to get the bottom layer dry if you just filled the yes. whole thing. Yeah. Okay, so I'm just going to keep doing this to all of my little strawberries. Could you put like shimmer powder in there? Yes, you could. You could put glitter into it. Yep. I would say use the glitter mister though. <gasps> yes. Because you get a much finer. You don't get the kind of clump of glitter. You do don't. You? It's so much prettier and you get more twinkle, I think. Um, Leanne is saying, I must remember to share my first fairy cottages when the live is finished. Oh, yeah, you definitely do. I'm seeing some gorgeous fairy cottages. Oh, there are many. They're adorable. Thank you so much for sharing. Uh, Kim is saying, my sister has a magnolia tree in her front garden. It flowered and two days later it was wet and windy. Oh, no. Now there is a carpet of white on the ground. Oh, that's so and no sad. And no flowers on the tree. Oh, bless. You wait all year for them to finally bloom. And then the weather goes and ruins it. I know. I love magnolias. Um, Leanne is asking, are we all feeling better now? Getting there. We are getting there. We're still a little bit croaky. I'm still a little bit coffee. I'm a little as bit sniffy. Coffin, not drinking coffee. Um, Leo sniffy, and now Karen's got it. Yeah, we have passed it on, unfortunately. So, but we are getting there. So, thank you very much for asking. Yes. And thank you for bearing with us as well while we've been less than a hundred percent. Oh, Teresa's asking, while busy with the strawberries, which fruit do you like the most to eat? Ooh. She mm. says hers is apples and bananas. Not a banana fan. I quite like apples. I do like an apple. I do like berries as well. Summer I like fruits. berries. Yeah. It's always the summer fruits. Bananas. Yeah. No. I like bananas. I like grapes. I quite like a nice, mm. like a snappy mm. green grape. Mm. I don't yeah. like soft grapes. I like them to be to have a good snap to them. I like a grapes. sweet grape, though. So. Yeah. Uh, prefer the red grapes over green grapes. Um, well. And I like so I like apples, but this is where my fussiness comes in. The skin on apples really gets to me. Mm -hmm. Peel them. I do. So that's the only time I eat an apple if it's peeled. And then I feel like a child though. They have to have <laughs> apple peeled. I'm cut up. Yeah. 
Because nice. I just I don't know what it is, but it's, it's the skin <laughs> on my teeth really goes through me. And they tend to squeak on my teeth, and I just, I cannot. You cannot be dealing with that. I can't deal with the sound of squeaking. This is Fair a when it's directly on my teeth. Oh, you well fed me. I uh, made a stir fry a couple of weeks ago and had peppers in it, mm -hmm. and I was just in the middle of eating it, and one of the peppers squeaked on my, uh, on my oh, teeth. Oh, and that was it. And, no and more. I was like, okay, it's fine. <laughs> Went to go have another bite, and I literally thought I was going to throw up. I've never oh, got to the no. point where I was repulsed that I was like, I'm going to actually throw up. What is wrong with me? Oh, okay. You're an adult now, Cat. I know. It was one time I didn't eat cocktail sausages for two years because they squeaked on my teeth. Oh, you are I funny. was eating cocktail sausages, and then I had one, and it squeaked. I was like, it's fine. I had another one, and it squeaked, and I nope, that's it. <laughs> of all the things that set you off. Oh, you are <laughs> squeaking funny. on yeah, her teeth. That is funny. To, um, I was saying that watermelon is her favourite, mm. but strawberries and raspberries are her next favourites. I do like watermelon. Mm. Like when it's hot, like, you know, that one day a year when you can yes. actually call it hot round here. A nice refreshing slice of watermelon. Oh, we got lots of fruit coming up here. Rachel Snook says raspberries. Mm. Yes. Um, Teresa says watermelon is also a favourite. Um, will right, Daniela is saying, will the leaves glue over the glaze? Yes, that's what we are going to be doing. Um. <laughs> uh <-oh. laughs> I'm really sorry. I am really sorry. Neva says, coffee and sniffy. We need a name for Karen. <laughs> oh, she's wheezy. <laughs> yes, yeah, she is. <laughs> Um, Julie saying mangoes. Oh, yeah, they mango. like mango. Yeah, they don't squeak. No. Mango uh, is an ice cream. Blue Moon is saying antelope berries. I don't know what they are. Antelope berries? They sound lovely, mind. And mangoes. Blake is saying mangoes. Uh, Janelle is saying dewberries. Mm. What have I got? I think I've got dewberries. No, honey berries. But I haven't tasted any yet. I didn't try the ones last year. They look like an elongated blueberry. Okay. Same colour. Um, Mo is saying, sneezy, sniffy, droopy, drippy, coffee. I think that's wheezy and herpy. I don't know what herpy is. Is it meant to be burpy? Maybe. These are so funny. Lillian says, um, grapes make your teeth go squeaky. And our early days editor says, Kat just stepped on the keyboard and stopped the sound. Now she's sitting on the die cutting machine. I have to go and sort her out. <laughs> she's your little she helper. After? She's your helper. Is she telling you it's snack time, maybe? Neva says, which apples? There are so many varieties. This is very true. There are. Sharon says she's a fan of cantaloupe melons. Nice. Watermelon. Peaches. And great summer fruits. I am all the summer fruits. I am a bit of a fruit bat. Mm -hmm. I love my fruit. No matter what it is. Um, but I do love peaches and nectarines. And all the berries. So it's always the summer fruits. So in the winter, I'm, I'm not really an apple fan. No. No, I don't, I don't really eat apples that much. Um, Blue Moon says mango is full of nutrients. So, talking of mangoes, we were doing some research on our holiday this year, um, last night. And one of the places that we're going on our boat trip is this place called Orange Bay. And oh, nice. they just have a pile of fresh mangoes and you can just help yourself. <gasps> oh. I'm looking forward to that. Especially because it's going to be like 33 degrees while we're there. So, oh, my Lord. Yes. Yeah. We were on holidays when you, I think it might have been, gosh, I don't know where we were. We went on a Jeep Safari, we did, but I can't remember where we were. Okay. And we stopped for lunch and, you know, it was obviously pre-arranged because whoever was doing the lunch lived there. And then they had fresh figs on the tree and they picked fresh figs off, not pigs, <laughs> off the tree for everyone oh my lord they were the most delicious figs i've ever tasted because they were warm and they were lovely 
tasty. Early Days Editor says the cat has now stolen her seat. Oh, no. You are not having any luck today. Um, where are we? Mo doesn't like mushy green ga- grapes either. No, no, they've got to be snappy. Karen is with us and she loves cherries. Nice. Kim loves pineapples. Okay, so um, I have glazed my strawberries. I'm going to pop them to one side. Oh, we have to throw up here. Oh, uh, yeah, we don't want any I that. get you. Mo says she wants to try cotton candy flavoured grapes. Oh, they're pretty good. They're lovely. They really are lovely. Um, what else have we got? Kim is saying she's got a cherry tree in the garden and the cherries come on. The cherries come on and the birds eat them all. Oh, no. I've had that. Yeah. I've had that. So I'm going to do a quick bit of shaping of my flowers also because then I can put the drops in those and that can also be drying. So I've turned them over on my mat and I'm just going to run around the edge with a ball tool just to give them a bit of a curve. Oh, sorry. Sniffy is back again. Oh, dear. We've had the thing from there. Yep. Um, Neva says, I love watermelon, but I live up a steep hill and the supermarket is at the bottom of the hill. I refuse to lug a watermelon oh, up the hill. No. I don't blame her. You need someone to carry that for you. Absolutely. Leanne says, do fruits count if they're in cider? Sure. I think they do. Um, Neva loves dried mango. Mo is saying to get Jennifer Grey. She'll carry the, man- uh, the watermelon. She will. And she'll enjoy every minute of it. Uh, Crankly, right. I'm going to put a dot of glue onto my pale pink ones. Mario says he's got a Josta berry in his garden. Ooh, what's one of those? I don't know what a Josta berry is. So I'm going to offset these slightly. Google Cam. And you'll take the small end. Melissa's joined us. Hello, my darling. How are you? Um, and Clerk is saying pigs grow on trees. Mm. Of course they grow on trees. And they fly. <laughs> um, no Lynn is with us and she says I love pineapple too. Oh, I think I'm allergic to pineapple. It makes my tongue go spiky if I eat it. fresh pineapple. It gives me a bad stomach. And I love pineapple. They're just black gooseberries essentially. Oh, oh are they? they? Yeah. Oh, so, right. Yeah, my little... North American coastal black gooseberry. Right, got you. So the last thing I'm going to do with my flowers, just put a little bit of drop into the middle. Like I said, this first bit is probably going to flatten. And if you want the very deep, kind of domey 3D drops, just put a small bit in first of all, and then you'll have to go back and add a second layer. So I'm going to put those to one side as well. Right. Now we can actually start assembling our jar. So one of the things I was um, going to mention was how I cut all of my inner layers. So for this, you are going to need lots of this inner piece, which looks like this, like so. Um, I managed to get, I think this was 10, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Yeah, so I managed to get 10 out of a single sheet of A4, basically by doing this with my die cut. So I cut my first one, and then I laid the die inside, and then I laid the next die inside, and That's really so good. on. So you can just keep going with your cardstock, and then you can go down this side as well, again, interlinking them, and you should be able to get 10 of these out of a single sheet of A4. And I'm pretty sure you could probably still do it out of eight and a half by 11 because I think I had a little bit left at the bottom. Um, you may not need all 10. I may have been a little bit over cautious with that, but I would rather have too much space in the middle of my card than not enough. Exactly. So the other pieces that I have then, I've got two of the front and back plate. Now you will notice that mine is in smooth mint because the list that I was working from said smooth mint, not spring silver. So we're just going to pretend that it's spring silver, okay? Um, I've then got the lid. I've got one in spring silver and one in hollow waves. I've got three of the middle slider parts and I've done those in the um, rose pink classic card along with the little piece that makes your gift card holder. I've got the decoration then. I've got the background layers for the decoration for the pot and the lid in avocado green. 
the top layers in a ballet pink for both those and then I've got a hollow waves sentiment tape banner Rock. flag thing yes and then my sentiment I've just cut as well so I'm going to start by assembling all of these together all of my 10 pieces we had a few people saying about the pineapple making it angle funny okay and then Nolin has joined us and she said, rub the pineapple with salt mm -hmm. to remove the unwanted taste. Oh, see, I used to have, um, we used to grill pineapple. In fact, Nom Nom used to barbecue pineapple for us. I love. And I'm sure we sprinkled that with salt. It's because there's like the enzymes in there that mm. eat away. And that was very delicious. Really painful stomach. Oh no. And I love pineapple. Nah, I'm good. Oh no, necessary. <laughs> Just ordered her embossing mat. My husband needed a gasket for something and cut mine out. Oh, How goodness. blinking rude! Wow. Did he at least ask? I don't know. I can't have that. Oh my lord. Oh now this is one for Karen. This says my local Brazilian restaurant does a lovely warm cinnamon pineapple. Mm. It's delicious, especially as I'm not a massive cinnamon fan. Mm. Mm. Karen loves cinnamon say, on anything. Like Street. It really does. Grilled chicken and pineapple, says Janelle. Grilled pineapple with tagine oh, sprinkled on top. Nice. So when you're gluing these together, you need to make sure you get them lined up as perfectly as you possibly can. The cavity in between is only just big enough for the slider to go in. Um, so to make it nice and easy for your gift recipient to actually open mm -hmm. the card. And, but uh, you can always glue them and put them under yes. some plates or a yep. book. I probably would recommend you do that with these. You know, whenever you're gluing flat things together, wet glue, put them under something heavy and leave them to dry. It changes the structure of them. I don't it know does. what magic it does, but it does it something. Does. Uh, Blake says it's something to do with the acid in the pineapple. Yeah. Yes, those enzymes. Mm hmm Nessa saying she freezes her grapes to put them in drinks instead of ice cubes. Nice. I like that idea. Um Neva saying pineapple grows in the UK and Ireland. Uh, no. Oh sure, she's asking. Yeah, no, not really. Oh we, right. we have all of ours imported, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we do. We do. I think there are some in um, greenhouses and things like that. Yeah. Most of our fruit just comes in. Even fruit we grow here. A lot of our apples is imported and we have loads of apple trees and orchards here. But we still import a lot. My um, great uncle used to work in... It was like an orchard preservation place down in Kent where they used to continuously grow old varieties of apples mm. that were at risk of going extinct. And oh I lovely, like that. yes. Lovely, lovely varieties down there. Neva says I swore Leo said she grew pineapples. Oh no. No, I've never grown a pineapple. I wish. I wish I, I lived somewhere warm enough so I could get away with that. But uh... I'm hoping I've got two apple trees, a pear tree and a plum tree. And I've had pears for quite a while. One apple tree had quite a few apples last year. The other one had none because the ants took over the tree. But I had no plums. So I'm hoping this year I'm going to grow some plums. But uh, we shall see. We shall see. Cross our fingers, isn't it? Ah, Nom Nom saying that kind of makes sense since Leo can't handle sour sweet. I cannot. As we all know. <laughs> <laughs> or jelly beans that taste like old bandages. <laughs> oh, I don't think I could handle that either. You would have thought that is the one that's the grossest out of all the ones you have to eat. It was. So what, there was dead fish as well, wasn't there? Oh, God. Um, yeah. The dishwater oh, dish one was pretty nasty. 
But yeah, the, the old bandage one, I don't know, there was something about that kind of musty, bandagey, gluey smell, well, taste that and just... Wasn't there a bath as well? Yeah, there was a bath one. And that actually made me feel bathy. Yeah. Honestly, it was just a nightmare from start to finish. And anyone watching who, has, who doesn't know you've done that live is like, what is she Yeah, what well, about that? <laughs> I did a charity live stream uh, last month. And at various milestones, I had to eat those disgusting bean boozled jelly beans. Oh, And gosh. yeah, there were some horrific flavours in there. Oh. Did you ever meet your girl? Yes. Yay! Oh, fantastic! We did indeed meet the girl. Oh, that's brilliant. Um, Mo was saying she's just remembered she's got a frozen Cadbury's egg <gasps> in her freezer. Mm. Get that out. Yeah, let us know how it is frozen, Mo. Yeah, I was gonna say, can you mm. freeze chocolate? Yeah. Yeah, of yeah, course you can. can. Leanne is saying she needs to stock up on her glue because she's halfway down her last one. Oh, definitely do. Don't run out of your glue. It's one thing you do not want to run out of. You do not. Oh, Janelle is saying she's got a small satsuma tree. Nice. Hale took out some of the small fruit. Hopefully next year. I've also got a fig tree. I've forgotten about the fig tree. Um, they're all in pots because, no, one pear tree is in the garden. All the others are in pots. And uh, I haven't, the figs grow, but then they just drop off and I don't know what to do with that. I've mm. given it a load of chicken poop pellet things. I think with figs, don't they need that special wasp to come and fertilise them? Do they? Yeah, well, basically. Clearly I haven't gone under them room either. So, as I understand it, and obviously if I am incorrect, please do correct me. I believe there is a wasp that literally goes into the fig and yes, dies. I've heard oh. That. oh, I don't know. Well, I haven't gone in then. So, you know, it's quite an ethical thing. Is, is a fig actually vegetarian? I don't know. Mmm, that's a question, isn't it? It's not really eating wasp. It's still in the fruit. It chose to put itself there. Mmm. Ethical question for everyone. Mmm. The middle doesn't get hard. Interesting. But I imagine it would be... Does it crystallise or anything like that? I don't know. Okay, last of these pieces going on. Yeah, Gem is saying they're not your common wasp. No, it's not a normal kind of wasp. It's a little, a little one. Maybe we don't have them in Wales. I don't know. Maybe. Who knows? A fried cabbage. Oh, okay. So there is um, at least one chippy somewhere in the UK that does <coughs> yeah. deep fried cabbage eggs because the Stockman brothers went and did a eating challenge of, I think they ate like hundred or something. Between. Oh my lord! Yeah, it feels yuck, like yuck, a yuck. Scottish thing to do because they do uh, fried Mars bars. So yes, I that's a Scottish they also thing. Fried their, uh, crab cabbage yeah, eggs. yeah. So there are my centers all glued together. All ten of them. Like I said, ten is probably too many, but I would rather have enough space in the centre mm -hmm. um, for all of the... Um, this is something you gauge as you're making it, isn't exactly. it? Exactly. I've done it out of smooth card as well, so probably I could have got away with a lesser number, but I would rather have plenty of space in the middle than not enough. Lillian is saying, are cherries vegetarian? They always have maggots. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. So with your um, gift card wrap, you'll notice it has a double score line, um, basically to give you that little piece for your gift card to actually sit into. If you are struggling to fold your double score line, use something like a um, precision glide folder or a bone folder, or even if you have a metal ruler, something mm -hmm. like that, and you can put it up against the second score line to get it to fold along there. Because sometimes you'll find that your card will only want to fold on one. Not Even both. something like a butter knife or something, yeah. isn't it? Just something with a smooth edge. And you should end up with a sort of more 3D edge. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that properly. Hopefully you can kind of see that it's not a flat fold. There's a little bit more 3D. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue this around one of these pieces. So I'm going to glue the glue tabs behind. So you can hide all your work ends. Exactly. Keep it nice and neat. 
Julia Verse has joined us and she said the wasp is completely digested by the enzymes in the fig. So they are vegan. Okay. You're all, all right. right. Um, and early days editor said some figs are self-fertile. Ah, that's what you need to make sure then, I guess. I if don't you... know what I've got. I've had it for quite a few years. And it does grow figs. They're very small, but they just grow them and then they drop off. So I don't know. Not a clue. But I keep trying. Oh, and I've got rhubarb as well. Yes, my rhubarb from me from last year is uh, coming back. I've put that on the wrong side. Oh, it doesn't matter. Eva loves Yeah, it does. It does. <laughs> you went to... Uh, Use a different one. Oh, is it, is it Ross City? Uh, yeah. Know, the sunflowers and whatnot. Yes. They sell uh, custard and rhubarb donuts over there. Mm. Oh. Um, yeah, to that I don't like rhubarb. <laughs> That's another but one. Eva that... was like very happy to take my donuts. So she oh, I bet she rhubarb. was. She loves rhubarb. It can give you a funny feeling in your mouth as well, rhubarb can. Yeah, yeah. it's an old It was just enzymes. a very intense flavour, I felt. At least th these ones were. So with this, just make sure that the first score line is flush to the side of your, what do you even call this? The gift card slidey mm. bit. Yeah, the holder bit. So you should then have this part kind of sitting proud. So you've actually got that opening and a little slot in there. And then once you've done that, you can just glue the others onto the back. And again, this is going to add structure. If you um, didn't want to glue so many together, um, I would recommend you use a heavier weight cardstock for this part. So your 300 would be good if you didn't want to glue multiples. Um, because it is being forced in and out of the jam pot, mm. it is under a little bit of pressure. Mo is asking. Um, if anyone is into cake decorating, mm. the fancy fondant and moulds and such. Baking, but not decorating. No, no me. I don't mind baking, but I'm not very good at decorating. No, I'm not. Uh, Gemma saying we probably eat some kind of bugs in most of the vegetables and fruit we eat. Probably. Especially if it's organic. We probably do. Extra nutrients. Protein. Yes. Um, Lisa is saying figs are pollinated by wasps, but commercial varieties that belong to the common type do not require pollination by wasps. Mm. So chances of finding a wasp inside a commercial common type fig is zero. Good to know. So you'll be all right. And that's from Google. So for my last one, so there's the front with the wallet on the front. For the last one, I'm gluing it the other way so that I hide my... All your rough edges are gone then. Backsides. Mm. Or the other word for it, depending on how you... Uh, yes, one for Eva, love. Um, Mo's grandmother made a strawberry rhubarb pie. Oh, mm. that sounds good. That sounds delicious. She'd probably eat that all to herself. With custard. Mm. Zero help. Neva says, isn't part of rhubarb poisonous? Yes, it is. It's the leaves. You can't eat the leaves. No. Okay, there is my gift card slider. And as you can see, it literally, it's a very tight fit. It is a snug fit. It is. So I'm going to leave But you want the card to be safe, don't you? Yes, you do. I'm going to leave this part to one side because I want this to dry nice and firm before I try and use it. Crafty Ladybug has joined us. Welcome on Hello, in. Hello, my lovely. How are you? So I have one of these pieces. This is your front or your back. And I'm going to glue my wedges to this, like so. I know, white on white, you really can't see that. But I promise you that is what's happening. Oh, Neva's making my mouth water here. Warm peach cobbler with ice cream. Oh, yeah. Oh, lordy, that sounds delicious. Um, Who else have we got? <coughs> okay. Oh, excuse me. Line it up, make sure you're happy. <coughs> it's neat all the way around the edges. Excuse me, I'm having a little drink. And <coughs> in place. 
You okay? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. I just okay. cough quietly. <coughs> <coughs> I mean, not to. Oh, not to play. <laughs> it's not as bad as it was. No, no it's, it's not. not. It's not. Okay, I'm then going to glue the front over the top. So we're going to hide all of those little pieces. So you should end up with this nice, big, deep opening. Hopefully, you can see I've got a good gap in there, which is where this part is going to slide. And then in hiding over the top. So obviously, you only want to glue on this. Out you could room. make that big enough for a chocolate bar though, couldn't you? You could. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, Melissa says, hot water, honey and lemon, please. Yeah. For me. I do. And a little tot of whiskey in there. Yeah, I was going to say, grab the whiskey. As a Absolutely. Say. Alternatively. <laughs> I know that is my, um, that's my cold remedy. I don't like whiskey and anything else, but I will have it in that. Uh, mm -hmm. That's my grandpa's go-to if you're ill. If he finds out you've got a cough or sore throat, that's what he gives you. A little tart. Um, I was saying to Eva the other day, because she was refusing, because she's got, she she did have a cough, and I was like, we've got cough syrup. Do you want that? She's like, yeah, go get it. So I, I, I put it on the spoon and everything to her. I was going to feed her. She didn't, all she had to do was open her mouth and take the bloody spoon. <coughs> <coughs> she sniffed it. She's like, no. That's that licorice kind. I'm not having that. I'm oh like, no! You are a 27 year old woman. You can have your cough syrup. Nope, nope. I'm not. I'm not having it. That's gross. That's disgusting. That's like it's one spoonful. Oh, wouldn't Lord. take it. I was like, your parents are quite clearly very nice to you. I grew up on whiskey. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> or buttercup. If it was my nan doing it, it was buttercup. Oh, I love buttercup. Oh, so my I can't Lord. stand it. I don't buy cough syrup. I haven't bought a few, I think, because I've, I've got asthma anyway. So you grow up with a cough, so a little bit of an extra cough, you get used to. And my friend gave me Cavonia the other day. Oh. Oh, my Lord, it was disgusting. Yep. I will never have that again. I can assure you. It was vile. That's one of my list. Um, what are so, we looking here? I'm gluing my decoration onto my backing piece. Uh, I saw something from Hannah. She's only managed, managed three hours sleep after nights, but since I'm awake, figured I'd pop in. Oh, hi, oh, Hannah. Oh, thank you, Hannah. Hope you're okay. Hope you get some sleep later. Or you haven't got to work tonight, either yeah, way. Yeah, exactly. Okay, I'm going to do the same for the hand or decoration as well. Or lid, I should say. I very much remember the night shifts. Oh, boy, I don't oh, miss yes. them. Same. I did nights for years when my son was little and before I had him, actually. But I didn't want to do them again after I stopped. Yuck. Oh, Julia versus the same blueberry muffins. Mm. Mm -mm. I don't like the taste of fresh blueberries. I think they're really, there's not a lot of flavour to them. No. Whereas I love the blueberries in blueberry muffins. Melissa, uh, Ness is saying apple trees and plums need pollination. They self-pollinate in the two I've got. I do know that. And Blake is saying pot and kettle cam. So I'm putting the hollow waves lid onto the front of my gift card slider. Oh no, our Hannah has got a bit of a cough as well. Uh oh. She woke up to go to the loo and started coughing. Uh oh. Oh dear. I think everyone has a bit of the lurgy at the moment, honestly. I think so. And then the, uh, <coughs> honestly, <coughs> spring silver one. It's not smooth mint. Your eyes are deceiving you. Uh, it's going <laughs> on the back. Oh dear. Okay. We're almost there. Oh no, Hannah's back in work at six. Oof. So she's going to try a nap this evening. Oh Hannah, you poor thing. Yuck. So I'm taking it from now, you do something like 12 hour shifts. Which is even more yucky. Even more yucky. Okay, let's get this glued on. Somebody's been, oh Julie's saying I miss baby aspirin. 
I do remember baby aspirin. Junior aspirin, wasn't it? Yeah, the soluble stuff. Yeah. So, decoration going down. Like so. And then I'm going to take my little sentiment wrap and put that into the middle. You don't need glue right to the edges of this because it is going to overhang the decorative piece because it goes flush with the edge. So you don't need to put glue. And you've got less risk of it squeezing out then, haven't you? Exactly. So I'm going to make sure that it is lined up with the sides of the pot. Here we go. And then press that in. Because this angles perfectly for the sides, yeah. isn't it? Exactly. So it looks like a proper little wrap around the middle. Okay, now for the real test. Will it fit? Yes. Just be a bit careful with this. Like I say, don't push it from the top until it's fully dried because you don't want it to crease. So there's the front and then the back sits nice and flush. Beautiful. And then, oh no. What do you want, Claire? Foam pads, oh. Thank you. Let's have a look how these uh, strawberries are doing. They're actually looking pretty good. They're not dry fully. One sticky but box you can... for you. Box of sticky things, thank <laughs> you. Uh, I don't know if you can quite see. Oh! oh. Strawberry oh. down, oh. strawberry down. Did it land? No, it's fine. Okay. The right way up. By the side up. That was the way I was looking for. Okay, there we go. So they do have so a little bit of the... You can kind of see where it's dried because it's... Um, it will say that kind of cloudy opaqueness where it's still wet. And you can see probably more of <coughs> this one. There's still a little spot of it in the middle. So I'm going to leave those still to one side to continue drying. It may be that we don't put the strawberries on today. Yeah, they haven't been that long, though, have they? No. I mean, you can see around the edges of a couple of them, and they are pretty much dry already. So, sentiment then, to glue those two pieces together. Dun, dun, dun. What are you going to do with your your uh, card holders? Are you giving them away as gifts? I think these would be lovely as a favour. Yes. With either a little lottery ticket inside. I was inside. just going to say, could you get a lottery ticket or a scratch card in there? You can always fold it, can't you? Yeah. I think that would be a nice idea. If you're doing um, a posh raffle. Mm -hmm. I had a raffle ticket inside there. Yeah. Thinking of all these nice afternoon teas you're going to be going to as the sun comes out. Yes, please. Oh, I hope so. I hope so. I just want the sun to come out. I want the afternoon tea. <laughs> okay. Foam pads on. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Kick in the back of the desk here. Yeah. And I am going to put a tiny bit of glue on this just because I'm gluing onto Miri. Let's give it a bit of extra help to actually stick and stay. So it's sentiment in the center of there. I'm also going to put some foam pads on the back of my handle if I have any left. Oh, I do. Good. New packet. We'll have to bring some more down. Hi, Raquel. She's saying it's looking lovely. Thank you very much. Does that fit? Yeah. It is beautiful, mind. Oh, I love this set. It's really, really cute. Right, I'm going to snip some foam pads. If you don't have the right size handy, I Trimming. would always say buy the biggest you can get. Yes. Because you can always cut down, but there's nothing more tedious than when you've got to stick 20 small, <laughs> <laughs> small pads Yeah, on. you don't have to do that if you don't need to. Oh, Raquel says she's a little under the weather. Aww. Oh, sweetheart, I hope you feel better soon. Crikey, it really is doing the rounds. I know. Hope we haven't sent it across the ocean. Yeah. Okay. 
don't need too many foam pads on here. You just need enough to support it so it doesn't flop, especially because it is on the handle part where people are going to be pulling the gift card out from. Mm. Oh. oh, this kit is cute. It is very cute. Very really springy is. as well, even though spring has not yet sprung. Oh, he's just living in hope, aren't we? Maybe one day. I know. I want to get out then and start cleaning up the garden ready for the summer. Yeah. I've got a lot of moss on my roof and the birds are chucking it off like I don't know what. <laughs> so I need to start brushing it all up. Stealing it for their nests, are they? It's all on the floor. They just chuck it off and throw it on the floor. Cheeky. Cheeky ones I got by me. And I feed them. Okay, there's our little decoration for the top going on. So, right, uh, can I use any of those strawberries? Probably not. And I should have brought down the ones that Karen said, and I forgot to grab them. So, instead, I'm going to add on a couple of my flowers. Oh, Raquel's got a, head, a slamming headache this morning. Oh. But she says at least she can walk, which is awesome. This is true. Oh, sweet, I'll take care of this is so pretty. So, a couple of flowers on. Like I said, your drops will settle in here, so if you do want to get the really domey dropped effect, wait for this round to dry and then go back in with a second lot. Can I do any of these? There's a couple of these I can probably just about get away with. Just. So, where are my little tops? We've got your tops here. Oh, are they? I haven't done my job on half of these. <gasps> Mammy Ellie. Gosh, I'm dreadful, am I? Disgraceful behaviour. I know. Here we are. So, bit of glue so on done. here. And done. And yes, you can glue on top of the glaze. Obviously, make sure it's fully dry. Don't don't be like me. Give it time. Don't be a chancer like you, is it? Yeah, exactly. I'm definitely risking it here. And um, kind of dry fit your tops to make sure you've got the right top for the strawberry. Right near the door. Strawberry delivery. Thank you. <laughs> so we're going to harvest some strawberries from another card. Could Please anybody yes. order some strawberries? Thank you. Okay, bye. Uh, see you later. <laughs> Okay, so, yes, make sure that you have the right top for each strawberry. There she goes. <laughs> Coughing away. Coughing away. Oh, yeah. bless. We are so unhealthy at the moment, it's terrible. Raquel is saying she made some cards using this kit and absolutely loved the results. Mm -hmm. It can be used for weddings, if you like. Oh, yes, lovely. So, I'm going to put these to one side and let them finish drying, but my lovely friend has said that I'm allowed to harvest her strawberries from her card and I'll replace them later. <laughs> <laughs> so let me just oh, pull these off here. The other thing I really like about using the glaze is it's kind of given them a bit of a, um, a bit they're of not flat. Effect, yeah, they are a little bit cupped now, which I think just kind of adds to the fruity look. It's lovely. And then I'm just going to scatter my freshly harvested strawberries. Raquel says vitamins for everyone. Yeah, definitely. We all need some. I'm going to rip the foam pad off a couple of these as well. It's nice to have them at different depths. So. It is. And then just arrange these as you would like them. Hannah said she likes the easel card um, that she made with this kit, but she doesn't really want to give it away. Oh, that's fine. I think it's uh, absolutely okay to send yourself a card. I think so. I think this would be nice in a frame. <gasps> yes, it would. Pop it on your wall. I think one of the things that we said during the video was like, what if you had tickets to Wimbledon? Yes. And you're giving someone tickets, you know, it'd be a great way to gift those. Oh, my son and his husband went to Wimbledon last year. Nice. They loved it. Um, Mo is saying, could you shape the berries with the shaping tool? 
before you glaze them, yes. Once you once they're glazed, if you try to manipulate them, I don't know if you can see on this pale strawberry here, there's actually a crack in the glaze. So if you try and move it too much, you might find that it does crack or shatter. But that could be another look. Could be. That could be what you're after. You know, that if you rub some ink in it, then mm -hmm. clear it all off then. I think that gives a lovely effect. Are you going to have a go with your crystal glaze? Are you going to try some new things with it? If you've got the kit, then you've got a bottle full to use. Mm -hmm. And it can make so many things look glassy and shiny. Mm -hmm. Now, what other things have you got already that would benefit from that kind of glazed effect? I'm going strawberry mad now. Look at this. I know. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, these two come as a pair apparently, so I'm just going to glue them down as they come. <laughs> they are stuck together. Janice is saying such a pretty kit. I love the card. Oh, it's lovely. Hiya, Janice. How are you? Hopefully you're not sick too. <laughs> exactly. It feels like we everyone... Hope nobody else is sick. We hope you're all feeling well. This poor card, look, it's all naked now. Poor I'll put card. them back. I'll poor put them back. Well, all those are going to go back on it, aren't exactly. they? Blake is saying he fancies some strawberries and cream now. Mm. That would be good. Uh, Raquel says, I was only going to point out that, the, um, um, that it embosses the berries really nicely. It does as well. The other thing you could do with this, the seeds are debossed into mm -hmm. the berry. So if you've got a white gel pen, you could add. Yep. You can little, definitely go back in. You can. Or a yellow one, either, either one. Okay, one more little oh, berry. Oh, Melissa's saying she passed on this kit. I don't know she's crying. Oh, no. I'm sure, is it still available, Kim? Have we still got some? Um, which one now? Sorry. Strawberries. 78. Yes, we do. So it's having a spam caller. Trying to figure out if they were a spam caller or not. I just saw that. I wasn't going to do it. Oh, I meant like I, yeah, I, I, I got rid of that. On oh, there, right. And I also had so Oh, me, no. Scammers everywhere. Oh, Pam. <laughs> That's not good. There we go. So there is my finished little card. I don't use my strawberries beautiful. to dry on there because they are a little bit loose at the moment. So we'll just give them a few moments to uh, grab. Like so. So there's my original. There is my recreated version. Hopefully you have uh, enjoyed. It has inspired you to grab your kit and have a go if you haven't already. And if you don't have the kit yet, as Cam says, it is still available. It is. As a one-off kit in the UK, it will be $34.99. In the US, it'll be $39.99. You, if you subscribe now, this is the kit you will get. If you subscribe today. Um, a monthly kit with a subscription is going to cost you $29.99 in the UK and $32.99 in the US. You can also do a quarterly subscription which is £89.97 in the UK and $97.97 in the US. Um, and, and, of course, and don't forget the TCK. Exactly. If you subscribe to the kit, whether that's monthly or quarterly, you'll get your TCK code and that'll give you a 10% discount off everything else on the Tonic Craft Store. Except your kit. Except your kit, yes. Except that. All the special offers that are there. Mm -hmm. You know, you could be saving your money back every single month, couldn't you? You could indeed. And we'd be happy to give it to you. Um, let's have a little look here. This jar would be fab with the biscuits from the bell jar. Oh, yes, it would. Oh, what a fabulous idea. A little biscuit jar. I, I like, like that. that. Mm -hmm. I like that. Awesome idea. Right then. If you've enjoyed this video, Give us a cheeky little thumbs up. 
if you like if you know friends that would like it tell them as well hit the notification bell and we let you know every time we go live and, and when we post a new video yes that bit as well <laughs> Don't forget to not be notified, you've got to hit that bell. Exactly. Ding. <laughs> I'm glad you redid that. It really upset me that there was no ding. No there ding. was no pause for a ding before. Go and have a ding. <laughs> and subscribe to our channel as well. God, we've got lots of requests today, haven't we? It keeps us those algorithms going and it lets people know about us. Because we just want to see new crafters. Absolutely. We love to see our regular crafters as well. But we also like new ones to come and see us. Oh, too. It looked like we had some new people. Mm -hmm. some new there names. was a few names today that I didn't recognise. Um, what else have I got to tell you? What have I got to say? I think the I've very most important thing. <gasps> How can I forget? Tag, Tag us in your makes. makes. <laughs> if you make anything, add it to our official Tonic Facebook group. Exactly. Because we all like to see. We like to see your ideas. We like to share our ideas with you as well. And that goes for everybody in that group. So, is there one more thing to say? Mm, hold on. Uh, have we done everything else? I think so. I think we have. Thank you so much for joining us and we'll see you all again very soon. Happy, Happy crafting! crafting.